Welcome to Master Chef Mom. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick, easy, protein-rich, super delicious bisi bele bath. Let's start cooking. So to make this protein-rich and tasty bisi bele bath, you will need first these ingredients to pressure cook: half cup of rice, half cup of tuwar dal, one teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. onion tomato and a very small capsicum this is optional you will also need turmeric powder and salt next to soak in warm water you will need a gooseberry size tamarind you can also take tamarind paste you can take 3/4 teaspoon of tamarind paste next you can uh, use these spice powders these are this is the quick method i'm showing you for this i'm taking 2 teaspoons of sambar powder 1 teaspoon of coriander powder one small stick of cinnamon one uh, cardamom and two cloves for uh, dry roasting and grinding if you have the time you can do that i'm giving the recipe in the description box next for tempering you will need ghee curry leaves urad dal mustard seeds dry red chili and asafoetida now let's start making this tasty bisi bele bath so instead of rice you can use millets of your choice you can also make this bisi bele bath with dalia that is the broken wheat i'm giving uh, the direct link to my blog where i have shared the recipe for the dalia bisi bele bath so now let's start cooking so i have soaked the tamarind in warm water i have chopped the vegetables I have sliced the uh, onion and I have chopped capsicum and uh, tomatoes. Now I am going to wash the rice, tuwar dal, and the fenugreek seeds together. Wash it twice, and then we will proceed to the next step. So I have taken a pressure cooker, okay, switch on, and we are going to add the washed dal, rice, and the fenugreek, which we have washed. Okay. Next, I'm going to add the vegetables. Next, I'm going to add some turmeric powder. And now we are going to add water to this. I'm going to add around seven to eight cups of water. This you are just according to the rice you are uh, using. Now to this, I'm adding salt. Okay, that's it. I'm going to pressure cook this up to four to five whistles over medium flame, and then I'm going to switch off. So while uh, it's pressure cooking, what we can do is I have diluted the tamarind in four cups of water. I extracted the juice from half cup of uh, water. Then I have diluted it with uh, four cups of water. Okay, and now I'm switching on the gas. And to this, I'm going to add the, our sambar powder and dhania powder mixture. Then some curry leaves. If you have, you can add. And then. I have coarsely crushed uh, the cinnamon, two cloves, and cardamom. If you have uh, powder, you can always use cinnamon powder, cardamom powder, and only the cloves you can crush and you can add. That's it. Now this has to come uh, to a boil. So this just has to boil for seven to eight minutes. I had uh, boiled and switched off. Now I have just switched it on. I was waiting for the steam to release. Now it is released. Let us see how it is cooked. So it is cooked beautifully. Then lightly mash it. Switch on the gas. And now we are going to pour this tamarind uh, mixture, the masala mixture, into the rice. First, let's add little. Let it boil, and then we can add more because this will absorb the water. So let it boil nicely. This will soak up a lot of the liquid. This bela bath has to be flowy, it should not be dry. 
So when it soaks up, we are going to add little more. So always reserve this water, this tamarind uh, spice water, so that your bisibilla bath does not go dry. So while this is boiling, now let's prepare the tempering. So as the mixture is boiling, I'm going to add ghee. You can use a ladle or you can use a small pan. So you can either add ghee or you can add oil. Ghee gives more flavor. Uh, I've added around uh, three tablespoons of uh, ghee. This you are just according to your taste. Now as the ghee is heated, now I'm going to add urad dal. I'm going to add the mustard seeds. If you're not comfortable with a ladle, you can use a small uh, pan to temper this. Next, I'm going to add red chilies. You can add one or two red chilies. Mustard seeds have started spluttering. I'm adding the red chilies and I'm switching off. Now to this, I'm going to add curry leaves and your asafoetida. Our tempering is ready. Now let's pour this into the visibelle bath. smells so yummy so now this is ready to be served a uh, uh, super delicious and protein rich bisibelle bath is now ready i'm serving it with some chips and boondi so yummy so delicious do try and share your feedback with me mm -hmm.